Till now we have solved two problems based on convolution and in this presentation we will solve the third problem. I have taken the third problem from IES 2001 electronics paper. This problem is taken from IES 2001 electronics paper and we can solve this problem using the properties of convolution as well as the Laplace transform. So let's read the problem first. The impulse response of a system is HT and it is equal to delta t minus 0.5 if two such systems are cascaded two such systems are cascaded the impulse response of the overall system will be so this is our problem there are four options given and first i will use only one property of convolution and the property i will write down first whenever you convolute any signal xt with delta t minus t1 then the result of convolution is equal to xt minus t1. You need to replace this t by t minus t1 here and we will use this property to obtain the correct answer. So we have one LTI system and the impulse response of the delta i system is given to us. It is equal to delta t minus 0.5 ht is the impulse response. Let's say the input of the LTI system is xt and the output of the LTI system is yt. We can easily calculate the output yt if we can convolute xt and ht. We don't know the value of xt so we will write it as it is but we know ht it is equal to delta t minus 0.5 t minus 0.5 from this property we can obtain the result of convolution. In place of t, we will put t minus 0.5. So yt, the output of the LTI system is equal to xt minus 0.5. Now according to question, we are required to cascade two such systems. So we will cascade the same system again. So we are connecting the two same systems having the impulse response delta t minus 0.5 in series. This is what we mean by cascading two systems. And now we are interested in calculating the output of this system. The impulse response will remain same. So this output yt which is equal to xt minus 0.5 will now act as input. This will act as input for this system and let's say the output of the system is y dash t. So we will calculate y dash t in the same manner we have calculated y t. This time we will convolute y t with h t because y t is our input, the input for this system and it is equal to x t minus 0.5. x t minus 0.5 convoluted with delta t minus 0.5. We will use this property in place of t we will put t minus 0.5 so we have x inside the bracket t minus 0.5 and this minus 0.5 we will write as it is after simplifying it will give us x t minus 1 so this is the output of the overall system but in question it is not asking us the output of the overall system but it is asking the impulse response of the overall system so we have the output of the overall system and the input to the system. So let's see if we can calculate the impulse response of the overall system. I will first draw our overall system which is the system obtained after cascading the same systems having the impulse response delta t minus 0.5. Let's say the impulse response of the overall system is denoted by h subscript o t the input to the system is x t and the output of the system is x t minus 1 x t minus 1 so x t minus 1 is equal to x t convolution with h o t now it is very difficult to calculate h o t in time domain so we will use the Laplace transform and we will go to the frequency domain. The Laplace transform of xt minus 1 
is equal to e raised to power minus s xs the laplace transform of xt is xs convolution will change to multiplication after taking the laplace transform and the laplace transform of hot will be hos which is the transfer function the laplace transform of impulse response gives us the transfer function and from here we can easily calculate h o s it is equal to e raised to power minus s now we will take the inverse laplace transform because we want to go back to the time domain so we will take inverse laplace transform and the inverse laplace transform of h o s is the impulse response h o t and the inverse laplace transform of e raised to power minus s is equal to delta delta t minus 1 so you can see we have obtained the overall impulse response of the system which is equal to delta t minus 1 let's see if there is some option matching or not you can see option c is matching it is delta t minus 1 so this is our answer you can see the calculation when we were knowing one property of convolution i will show you how much the calculation will reduce if we know one more property along with this property if you remember the convolution operation follows the associative law and from there we obtained one important result whenever you add two or more systems in series or you can say whenever you cascade two or more systems the overall impulse response equal to the convolution of the respective impulse responses this means if we have ht and ht as the two impulse responses of the system cascaded then the overall impulse response will be equal to impulse response of the first system convoluted with the impulse response of the second system so we can easily obtain hot from here this was our prime aim for that we have performed this much calculation so let's try to obtain the overall impulse response from here we know ht it is equal to delta t minus 0.5 convoluted with delta t minus 0.5 we will use this property in place of t we will have t minus 0.5 so h o t is equal to delta t minus 0.5 and minus 0.5 this is equal to delta t minus 1 so option c is the correct option and you can see the length of solution here we have obtained the solution in just two steps and here we have performed a lot of calculations that's why it is important to remember all the 10 properties i have given to you if you use them you will solve the question in very less time and this is what is required in competitive examinations so this is all for this lecture now we will move to the homework problem i have taken the homework problem from gate 2009 electrical engineering paper here if you read the problem ht is the impulse response yt is the output and xt is the input of the system and you are required to find out the output of the system when xt minus tau is the input and ht minus tau is the impulse response there are four options and once you have the correct option comment it below so this is all for this lecture there is one more thing i want to discuss regarding the properties we are having there are two properties we have used to solve the question in just two steps if you do not know this property and you know this property then you can see the length of solution now let's assume you don't know this property but you know this property so i will have another solution in which you know the overall impulse response is equal to the convolution of respective impulse responses ht is equal to delta t minus 0.5 so we have convolution of delta t minus 0.5 with delta t minus 0.5 now you don't know this property so you cannot simplify this using this result so what we can do we can use the laplace transform so we will have h o s and it is equal to the laplace transform of delta t minus 0.5 the laplace transform of delta t minus 0.5 is e raised to power minus 
s and the convolution will change to multiplication again we have delta t minus 0 0.5 so we will have e raised to power minus 0 0.5 s now simplify this you will have e raised to power minus s this is the transfer function of the system now we will take the inverse Laplace transform and it will give us the overall impulse response which is equal to delta t minus 1 so we have the correct option using this method of solution so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section